If you're watching this video, you probably want to find out how the Live Editor works. This video will be a complete guide on how to install, use and run the Live Editor on FC25. Unlike most PC games, modding FC25 is a little bit different and tricky, but once you've got the foundations installed, it's not too bad and it's a one and done process. First off, you'll want to buy the game on PC. No, you can't use your Xbox version, no, you can't use a PlayStation version, and no, you can't use your Switch version. There will be links below if you want to buy the game at a discount, and if you use one of those links, you'll support the channel, which is always appreciated. Now, it is worth noting that it does not matter if you buy from Epic, Steam, or EA, as long as you have the game installed and on your PC. Alright, so the next step now is to open up Google and literally type in the FT25 Live Editor. That's all you need to do, and if you press enter, you'll be greeted with two or three profiles now the github version this one is essentially a platform that allows you to store and share their code including the live editor now this one is a little bit scary so what i would suggest you do is go back onto live editor and click the patreon link instead this one will bring you to the first release that came out at the start of the game back in september 2024 now it is worth noting and it is so important to note this that you have to get the latest version that matches the latest version that came out with the game if you don't the game will not load it will not work and essentially you can't play the game and use a live editor at the same time now it's worth noting as well that the person who creates this uh, mod uh, releases the game seven days early for members so he releases the mod seven days early for members so if you want to get the mod as soon as it comes out you have to pay a few pound a month to get access to it if you don't want to pay you've got to wait a uh, seven days and then it's free for everyone to use so definitely worth subscribing to in my opinion i think it's like three pound a month or something like that so i'm a member as you can see here so i can go down here into the recent posts cheat table here and then the live editor here so now we've found the latest version of the live editor what we want to do here is press this button here the fc25 le v25 3.1 zip what it's going to do is download it here on my profile on my pc so now it's available for us to use right so this is essentially the folder that you need and it has all the files that you will need to make this happen now what you want to do now is create a folder on your pc i'm going to name mine live editor fc25 that way i know that this is going to be the folder that i need to use to access the live editor moving forward so if we open up this zip file what this does essentially is unzips the file for you so we're going to highlight these make it blue and then drag it into the live editor fc25 folder as per so what does this do now what this has done is it's extracted the zip file and now we can ignore the zip file in the download section even delete it if we wanted to and then all we need to do is focus on this section here the live editor fc25 folder you can save this in your documents you can save it in your desktop as long as it's on your pc and you know where it is you can use it moving forward cool now what you want to do is open up this folder now this folder has all of the files that we will need moving forward as you can see there's quite a few file types here but you can ignore most of these and what we want here is the launch of the application the main section right as you can see here on the type most of these are folders text documents what we want is the application one so if you double click this once you've opened it it will say that windows has protected your pc because they don't recognize the app so what this is essentially saying is it might put your pc at risk i can assure you and promise you it will not do that more information run anyway it will then ask you to allow this app from other publisher to make changes to your device as per so of course we want to do so press yes and then a disclaimer will pop up on your screen like so what this basically means is that you might get banned from using this online or connected to the ea servers so my suggestion is do not play ultimate team or pro clubs with this initiated and you'll be absolutely sound i've used this daily since october and i've had no issues at all press ok and you'll be greeted with this screen here this is the live editor launcher this essentially was going to launch the game and make it work for you so remember when i said it's important to have the latest version of the game and also the live editor as you can see here mine is green that means it's going to work if yours is yellow if yours is red it's not going to work so you have to go back Follow the steps and find the latest version that's available. This screen as a whole isn't too important, but essentially what you're seeing here is the log 
of all the actions of the software which is useful for bug fixing and troubleshooting. Thankfully, I've used this daily since October and had no issues at all. So hopefully, you'll have the same issue as well. So, what we want to do now is press Run Game on the left hand side and you'll see the status turn to Injecting as you can see there, and the game should begin to open. What this does essentially is bypasses the EA Anti-Cheat Launcher, which is designed by EA to stop hackers and cheats online. As we all know, if you play PC and Ultimate Team, well, it doesn't really work. So the game will begin to load, and once the game is loaded, live a few seconds, and then you should be greeted with the live editor. Once the game is open, leave it for a few seconds and you'll be greeted with something like this, the live editor. This message indicates that the live editor engine has installed and you can now use this moving forward. Happy days. With this installed, you've now got the live editor on your game. Essentially, what this is going to allow you to do is do so many different features and we're going to walk through what you want to see and what you might not want to touch moving forward. So, as you can see in the top left hand corner, there are four main subsections. The help section is pretty self-explanatory. It has the Wikipedia and the Discord as well. So maybe you have a question that you can't quite find out online, join the Discord and somebody there will be able to give you a help in hand. Really, really useful. So if we go into the option settings here, as you can see, you've got quite a few different sections here. Nothing really to worry about. A lot of it is mainly around the sort of back end stuff for the development, the debugging, the logger, all those kind of things here. What you might want to do is the UI here, and you can actually change the scaling of it. Firstly, how big the UI is going to look on your screen. I'm going to change it to 1.75, so it's a bit easier for us all to see on my screen, but usually it's around 1.25 for me, as that's big enough for me on my screen. That's the settings section. The view section again allows you to hide the live editor, which you can do by pressing F9 as per so. And then the features section. This is what you really want to focus on. This is the most exciting bit. This is the best part of the live editor and something that you'll definitely want to use moving forward. So the first section is the LUA engine. What is this? Essentially what it does, it allows you to execute code that you found online or maybe you've made yourself on to the live editor now this is far beyond my reach and my knowledge so what i would do here is ignore this however if you do want to play around with it simply search lua engine into google and you'll find some pretty nifty features so that's the engine and then here is the miscellaneous features this one again is pretty useful and it gives you gameplay and career mode options so when it comes to gameplay you've got one option which is the shooting section this allows you to basically tick this box and it will give you perfectly time shots every single time i personally don't use it but it's up to you if you do want to use it i leave it unticked now you've got the career mode section for example on the youth academy it allows you to generate a youth academy report every single time immediately instead of waiting every single month however for have this to work you need to have scouts on a mission scouting players already for example scouting a striker in italy for example or a midfielder in spain so what this does it generates a new report every single time you click that button instead of having to wait once a month like you would have to do normally the global transfer scout network again it allows you to reveal player data which in previous fifas was a godsend Nowadays, you can start the game with everything unveiled and immediately available to you. But in previous FIFAs, this was not an option. So what this does allows you to reveal player data, which again is still useful in this game. Maybe you start the game and you want to have no data at all, but then a few seasons in you want to change that. You can press that button here and that changes it for you, which is really, really useful. The manager section, again, makes you untackable. In previous FIFAs, an absolute godsend. In this FIFA, they have now changed it where you can sort of preset it before the save starts. However, again, I always have this tick just in case EA haven't really fixed their game and made it proper, uh, which as we all know can happen, uh, which is never ideal. And then the match setup as well, which is really, really useful. What this does, it allows you to override the stadium weather and crowd attendance as well. So maybe you're doing a, a League 2 Road to Glory, or maybe you want to relive the COVID days for whatever reason. What you can do is press this button here, press the zero, press this tick here, and it allows you to change the crowd attendance. What you might want to do here is just, if I get my finger correctly, it's just change, here we go, change it like that, that way you can see the entire thing, so zero would be empty crowd, and then 100 would be full, 
for example. So what you might want to do if you're doing like a, a League 2 Road to Glory or a Division 3 Road to Glory, as instead of having the stadium entirely full like it usually is, you can then change the crowd attendance as per your needs. And again, the weather section and even the stadium as well. Maybe you really like Old Trafford for some reason. You can have every single fixture played there. Or the weather, for example, when it's winter, you want to have all the games in the, in the snow for whatever reason. Or in the summer, you want to have it really, really clear you can have that here as well which is really really useful when it comes to playing the games as of when you want to that is the miscellaneous features section again a really useful handy bit of kit um, that you can use to make your game a bit more enjoyable so what we want to do now is open up an actual save if we go here cool now for the fun starts if you press f9 again and if we go back into the features and we've got players team transfers and game database so if you press place here what it's going to do is generate the entire player database on this save now it's definitely worth noting that when you edit players on this section here it only changes on this save so if you open up a new save you open up a different save your previous fixtures and settings and saves will not be on there so you have to make sure that you do it on the save you actually want to change so for example Pepe Reina what this section gives you here is the full list of every single player on this game from their overall potential club nationality age whatever you want to be and you can use this section here to search for certain players so if you want to type in Neves for example it gives us here Ruben Neves every player that begins with Neves really really useful but what we'll do is go back and as you can see here Pepe Reina if you press the pencil icon here it will allow you then to open up Pepe Reina's player profile and edit everything you want to do about Pepe Reina which is an absolute godsend I absolutely love doing it is truly remarkable for example you can change his goalkeeper position so maybe we want to make him a striker for example that changes his overall as well we can change his attributes as well so if we want to make him the best player in the world because of course we do Pepe Reina that's what we do we can do that as well. As you can see here, it's changing all of his stats there as well. Even as a goalkeeper, why not? Might as well whilst we're here. You can even change his contract as well. You can change his release clause, the date he joined, even the play styles as well, which is massively important. If you want to add play styles to a player, you can do it on this section here, which I think is massively important. For example, maybe you've got some new youth players, new youth academy players, or maybe you've got a player that you really, really love using. But they haven't quite got the play styles that you want. You can add all these play styles here as well. So if we tick those boxes, that's absolutely fine. You've even got hidden trades as well. For example, the one club player, which basically means that we can't buy him and he will stay his entire career at Como, which is really, really interesting. And again, here, you can change the transfer list status, you can change the loan status, you can even see about statistics. You can change a lot of information here. Now, the important bit here, once we've now changed this stuff, we want to go here. Basically, want to click this X button here, which allows us then to change the settings for Pepe Reina. As you can see here, change the following items to Pepe Reina. 37 changes, we want to press yes, and then go back, press F9. If we go to transfers and search Reina here, as you can see, he's now a striker. And he's now 99 overall and the best player in the game. And he's also got the play styles that we wanted. His valuation's been increased. Now, he's retiring. However, we can change that. If we go back onto the F9 section, if we go into the profile, press no, and then go back here. And it's so important that you actually save the changes. Otherwise, it will not work at all. Press yes, and then press F9 again. What it will do is allow us to approach him again, and now we can actually sign Pepe Reina as a player. So, for example, Messi, Ronaldo, players that you really like watching growing up and they're retiring, you can now actually keep them and keep them going for as long as you want, essentially, as long as you have that feature ticked. So that is essentially the player editing section. Again, you can go for any player in the game if you want. You can change the name, you can change their surname, you can change their ID. There's so much here that you can change. And honestly, it gives you so much freedom when it comes to actually playing the game. And for me, it's one of my favorite parts of the live editor. It allows you to really customize the players and give them the play styles that you think they deserve. The contract as well. You can do a lot of things here, which I think is really, really interesting. So... That is the player section. What you can do as well is go on the teams and do the same for the entire teams as well. So as you can see here, we've got Arsenal. You can widen the team names. You can see all of the names here in order. You can see their overall, their attendance, their league, their foundation year, all the information that you might want to see. However, click this pencil here 
as you can see here, it brings up Arsenal's subsection, which pretty much mirrors the player section, but now for the team of Arsenal. So as you can see, you can now change the foundation here, you can change the team players. So for example, maybe you want to make all the Arsenal players 99 overall for whatever reason. You can now do that by pressing these buttons here, making sure you save them and then go back onto this section here without having to search the players individually. You can change the manager as well. You can even change the stadium if you want to. You can change the kit. You can change the max fixing as well. Now, this is really interesting. So, essentially, if you really hate a club, for example, maybe you're a Spurs fan and you can't detest Arsenal, you hate Arsenal, you can press this button here, ref dislikes, click this button here and essentially what it means is they will basically lose every single game and then you can make them concede as many goals as you like make them concede as many as you like and it is so so interesting for makes some really interesting saves as well but yes this this section here is really really useful for adjusting teams you can change the kit you can change the name if you want as well you can change the abbreviation which is really really interesting and what it does really is gives you an overview of the squad but also allows you to change some of the nifty features that you might want to change moving forward so right next up is the transfer section if you press the transfer section what this does it gives you an overview of every single transfer that's happened on your save so for example as you can see here scalvini has left atlanta to join newcastle united for 13 million euros maybe we see that and thought you know what newcastle don't deserve him at all maybe you had a player who's release calls activated and you didn't mean it or maybe you started playing you thought actually you know what he's a bit crap i don't want to sign him all you can do is press this undo section here and it undoes the transfer for you it is absolutely magic so now if we go on to scalvini and search him in this section here you will see he now plays atlanta and not newcastle united as per show so that is essentially the live editor in a nutshell. For me, the main takeaways are the settings section, making sure the scaling is right for you. The miscellaneous section, do you want perfect time shots on or not? Do you want overriding of stadiums? The player section, this is the bread and butter of the save in my personal opinion. There is so much you can do here. Now, if you do want to mod the game and add certain leagues, maybe you want to add certain graphics, maybe you want to add certain... Uh, clubs and players what you do need to do is have this installed as the live editor but then you also need the mod manager as well which is an entirely different bit of kit and something that i use to create for example the custom badges on my free agent career mode you can add already made mod which basically allows you to add additional leagues additional sponsors all those kind of creative things that you see online you need to have this installed but also the mod manager as well what i would do is leave a link in the comments to the best mod manager guide that i've seen and I'll also make a video for you guys in the next few days as well. But essentially, that is the live editor in a nutshell. Pressing F9, of course, brings you back into the game. And pressing F9 again brings it back up. The key takeaways to here is essentially don't play online, don't play pro clubs or ultimate team with this installed. Just launch the game as you would normally. Changes that you make to a player or a team or transfers only happen in that save that you're using. For example, this Juventus save. If I went and made a brand new save with Arsenal, this would not have any indication or changes at all. It would only work on this save. I really hope this guide has been useful for you. The live editor is a really powerful tool that opens up endless opportunities on the game. And if you have enjoyed this video, please, please, please subscribe as I upload career mode content weekly. Well, sometimes weekly. And if you have any issues, please, please, please comment below. I'll do my best to help you guys where I can. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.